The discus fish family is a striking one to behold. Their beauty and almost limitless color variations are what make them so spectacular and much admired. In this video, we'll look at the characteristics, care, and pitfalls to watch out for when it comes to keeping a healthy school of discus fish. Behavior and lifespan. Considered a peaceful, gentle giant of the hobby, these fish resemble a pancake with fins, but they have a lot more color. They aren't your typical cichlid in nature, though. They aren't strong swimmers, and they prefer to avoid confrontation, and will hide instead of dealing with other fish aggression head-on. Being a schooling and shoaling species, they must be kept with others of their kind for their psychological health and well-being. Their highly social nature requires their group community for a successful tank, and it's always best to source them together at the same time from one supplier where they're already established as a healthy group. If you cater to the needs of your discus fish, you could expect them to live for, on average, around 10 years. They can live longer though, 15 years is not unheard of if you master their conditions. Tank requirements. As always, we want to achieve optimum health for fish we keep in captivity by closely mimicking their natural habitat. Their wild origins are the slow moving waters and food plains of the Amazon. For their tank conditions, moderate to low water current is good for these fish as they aren't strong swimmers. They like a soft substrate and shady lighting conditions because of the vegetation overhang in the tropical Amazon forest canopy. Good vegetation options include Amazon swords, anubias, bacopa, micro swords, dwarf hairgrass, any plants that can handle the high water temperature required. These fish are super sensitive to water fluctuations, so a heater is essential to keeping the water warm enough for them. They have zero tolerance for ammonia, nitrates, and nitrites, so they must be kept to the bare minimum. Filtration needs to be on the powerful side for waste removal, so canister filters work best. Water changes need to be daily for the smaller end of the scale tanks, and at least 25-40% to 40 changed over. The minimum tank size for a group of six is about 75 gallons, and if you add more, then add another seven gallons for each individual. As for tank mates, ram cichlids, rummy nose tetras, neon tetras, and others like it are best. Feeding. Always try to have the best quality commercial flake or pellet foods and include frozen and live meals regularly. There are specialist foods available for discus fish that cater to their nutritional needs in tiny bite size. Breeding. While it's entirely possible to breed discus fish in the hobby nowadays, it's not advisable to try. It's a fairly daunting proposition even for the advanced aquarist and requires an epic amount of preparation, another 55 gallon breeding tank, breeding tank supplies, and the expected pristine, perfect water conditions. Anyone not fully up to the task risks losing the adult breeding pair in the process, not to mention the fry. Discus fish are glorious when managed appropriately, and it must feel pretty special to have a healthy, vibrant school full of color and life lighting up your home and creating a magical landscape each day. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.